Hello there dwellers of the internet, I am Finn Dominator on Grabster's YouTube channel. Today, me and Grabster will show you how to make a cool gaming thumbnail in Pixel Lab and Snapseed. If you are unfamiliar with me, I am a Warframe tutorial YouTuber, so let's get into this. So first, make sure you have Pixel Lab installed. Second of all, let's go to Chrome, uh, let's search something up, let's say I want to make a Fortnite thumbnail, let's search up transparent Fortnite character and then we'll find one uh, yeah this, this guy looks good uh, let's download him make sure it's transparent with the little checkered in the background and then we're gonna search up say something like Fortnite background and then when we find that we take the Fortnite background and we're gonna download it boom 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 we got everything we need boom Make sure you're not infringing anyone's copyright if it's some fan art or something like that. Make sure you have permission if it is fan art. So first, we go into Pixel Lab and to make it the background that you want, you push the three little dots at the top right and then push use image from gallery. From there, you want to click the photo you want to be your background and make sure the size is set to 16 to 9. Boom. Okay, now it'll automatically select this text, so you just gotta push a little garbage can at the top left and then push confirm on delete. Next, you wanna push the plus icon in the top left and push from gallery. Um, once you're on from gallery, select the character you want in your Fortnite thumbnail and then put him somewhere on the screen. For me, I usually put characters on the far right. I make them really big so they stand out and I make sure I get their head and shoulders usually, their bust, you know, in the photo. To make the character and the text stand out, push the little magic wand at the bottom right, go to brightness and turn it down. That will make the background picture darker so everything else stands out better. Next, we're gonna push the plus symbol in the top left and push text. It will spawn this nice little text that says new text. We're gonna change that to something like, uh, since it's just an example, we'll put awesome video here. Yeah, let's just put awesome video here as a placeholder for this thumbnail. Next, what you're going to want to do is you want to push the little A across the bottom line. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to push size and then choose what size you want the text. We're going to make it nice and big here on the far left. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to push font. Pixel Lab comes with all these amazing fonts like Amaranth, Bold, uh, Arm Wrestler, Blogger Sans, Chunk 5, you know, all these great fonts. Just pick one that you want. I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for this one all the way down here called Virgo. And it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty different. But we're gonna just gonna use that one for now. We're gonna make the text nice and big. Change the color, you push the little pen next to the rubbish icon. Then you can choose color or gradient. We're gonna go for a nice green on it. To add a stroke and shadow, uh, you push the A again if you haven't, and you scroll to where you see the word stroke with a little circle above it. Then you choose how deep thick you want the stroke and how big the outline is and the color of it, of course. Then right next to it should be shadow. You can choose how big the shadow is, what color the shadow is, that all that stuff. There's also inner shadow, embossing, perspective, and 3D rotate, lots more stuff if you wanna use that. But to change the character and like their character's traits, you know, like their size and things like that, you wanna push this little diamond shape thing in the middle of the bottom bar and you want to go to things like opacity, stroke, and stuff like that to change him and make him really stand out. And that pretty much is how you make the thumbnail because we've got the Fortnite character, we've got the text, we've got the background, it all looks really cool. Next, you want to push this little save icon at the top bar. It should be one next to the plus. You push save as image. Uh, you can choose PNG or JPEG, and then you can choose the dimensions between default, custom, low, medium, high, very high, or ultra. I always save mine under ultra as it gives me the highest resolution. Then you push save to gallery. Now I have shown you how to do all this, I'm going to let Grabster take hold of the video and he will show you how to add more effects to the thumbnail inside Snapseed to make it look the best it can. Thank you Finn. Alright, so we're now going to open up Snapseed and import the thumbnail. Finn Dominator has made the most of it so we're gonna just spice things up and make it so it stands up a bit more. 
So the first thing we're gonna do is go to details and increase structure and sharpness just a tad bit. So things look less pointy and more sharp. Next we're going to open up curves and create three points. One in the middle, one at the top and one at the bottom like this. Pull the top point just a little bit so it brings up the highlights and bring the bottom point up like this for the faded film look. It looks interesting in gaming thumbnails and adds a little bit of a unique look. Don't bring it too much though because otherwise it will look really bad. We're almost done here. Let's go to tune image and here we will play around with the settings. We just need a look that stands out, doesn't look bad and adds some contrast to our character. Make sure you're also keeping an eye on your text so it doesn't lose focus. Last but not least we will add a lens blur but only on the edges. Just to add a little bit of depth that makes it different. Make sure to set vignette to zero. Now you just export your image and set it as your thumbnail. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give this video a like and check out my nominator's channel in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.